The paid traffic report summarizes the paid traffic to your website. The first chart in this report shows the weekly paid traffic to your website over the last 13 weeks. You can change the date range by using the date picker shown here. If you want to apply it to just this one widget, click Apply. If you'd like to apply the date change to the entire report, click Apply to Report. The next widget shows your paid campaigns. It's ordered by the number of sessions, and there are additional metrics that show you information about the engagement you're getting from each of the campaigns. For example, the last column shows bounce rate. If you want to change those metrics, you can do that in the widget editor. Scroll down to the columns picker and then choose the metric that you like to show. Here I'm going to remove bounce rate and include instead completions, which is the number of goal conversions. You can see that now the last column is showing completions. Next we see the traffic over time from the top three campaigns. If you want to look at different campaigns, you can do that by selecting them from the widget editor under the series dropdown. Instead of uh, search standard new site, let's say I want to look at display network and search networks. Now you can see that just these two campaigns. The next chart shows a breakdown of the paid traffic by desktop, mobile, and tablet devices. After that, there's a map showing the paid traffic broken down by top 10 U.S. cities. If you want to look at a different geographic region, you can select those from the widget editor as well. For example, let's say I want to look at countries in Europe. Next we come to the landing pages widget. This shows you the landing pages where your campaign and your paid campaigns are sending traffic. They're ordered by the number of sessions, but you can also see in the second column that we've provided the conversion rate so you can see which campaigns are performing the best. By default, Google gives you the conversion rate for all sessions or all goals, but if you want to pick a particular goal, you can go in to the widget editor again click on conversion rate and under all goals pick the goal that you want. Similarly if you don't have goals set up and you want to track a different metric here you can select that from the column selector. Let's say instead of conversion rate I want to see page views. I'll uncheck, uncheck conversion rate and then click on page views. Next we come to some widgets that present AdWords data. In order for these to work, your Google Analytics account needs to be connected or linked to AdWords. This first one shows you campaigns, the number of AdWords clicks, the click-through rate, the total cost, the AdWords cost per click, and the AdWords cost per conversion. This last column again will only work if you have conversions set up in your AdWords account that is linked to Google Analytics. Similarly, the next widget shows you AdWords performance by keyword. Here we have the same metrics but listed by keyword. AdWords clicks, click-through rate, cost, etc. If you want to add additional charts or tables to this report, simply scroll to the top and click on Add Widget. The widget library opens, and for example, suppose you want to add additional information about AdWords, search for AdWords widgets, and we could, for example, choose the AdWords position widget. Then drag it over to your report, select the place where you want to drop it in, 
choose your account. Again, it must be a Google Analytics account that's linked to AdWords. And now you have included the keyword positions report. 